I grew up in the 60s. You know, the drive-in was the thing then. When you get your friends together, get in a car, and go sit in the drive-in and just have a wonderful time. Really, the essence of American culture is drive-ins. The idea of bringing people together, the people that you love the most, your friends and your neighbors. Well, there's nothing like the experience of a drive-in movie. Drive-ins are a part of American tradition. It's a great way to spend time with your family. My kids are all different ages, so it's great that it's something they can all do together. It's a chance to kick back and, and see things the way they used to be, you know. Drive-ins are as American as baseball and, and hot dogs. It's a real piece of our history. It's a real piece that has fed American culture into what we know it to be today. Now we're facing the largest challenge that any drive-in has faced, and that's converting to digital projection. Next year, the drive-ins that have a regular projector that's not digital won't be able to show movies. Well, for a drive-in theater with a screen as big as ours, it's around $85,000. For the kind of business we do, it would probably take 10 or 15 years to pay for equipment like this. If we are unable to make this conversion by the end of the season this year, those doors will never come unlocked. It's pretty much do or die. Right now, there are 368 drive-ins left in America. The majority of them still need to make the costly upgrade to digital before the end of the year. This is Project Drive-In, a partnership between Honda, drive-in theaters across America, and you. The goal is simple. Let's save as many drive-ins as we possibly can. Here are four things you can do right now with just a click. One, spread the word. Most people don't know about this issue. The more their struggle is talked about, the easier it will be to raise funds and stay open. Two, Honda is donating five digital projectors to the cause. Your votes decide where they go. Three, Help save even more drive-ins by contributing to the drive-in fund. All proceeds go directly to drive-ins in need. And four, take a pledge to visit a local drive-in this summer. Drive-ins really represent that American dream, that sense of place, that sense of freedom, and without that, we'll lose a piece of our cultural heritage. We don't have them where we're from, so like this is new to us, kind of, and it's a great experience. There's people having fun. It's, I don't know, it's very different than you would get in a movie theater. If we believe in something wholeheartedly, no matter what it is, we have to step up to the plate and do something about it because so many people are touched at the heart of drive-ins. This is the number one gathering point for this community. It's more than just historic, it's actually just something they depend on. We have generations that work here. And I think you've got to love it to make it survive. Oh no, no, if it was money, we'd be closed a long time ago. It's not about the money. It's about the film experience. This is home. This isn't a business. This is home. 